Hi, my name is Luis and I'm a student here at Hollenbeck Middle School. Right now, our school is empty because we're on summer break. But what happens when school starts and students who are supposed to be in class, getting an education, don't come and they just skip school? According to the California Department of Education, the truancy rate at Hollenbeck Middle School in 2014 was 75%. Us pal kids, well, we've seen a lot of ditching here at Hollenbeck, and we wanted to know why, and what can be done about it. This is Cynthia Gonzalez, and she's a city attorney at the Hollenbeck Police Station. Action. Hello, Mrs. Gonzalez. What is the definition of truancy? What truancy is defined as? So, one truancy is three unexcused absences. So if you're ditching and you ditch one day, that counts as one of three. It's ditching similar to truancy? You know, it is. It's very, very similar. Because when, you're, when you say ditching, that just means, you know, you ditched one day. But technically, by definition, you have to th ditch three times to become truant. How big of a problem is truancy in Boyle Heights? It's a huge problem. Truancy is bad because um, it affects your attendance, you know, and then it also takes you in bad um, routes in school. You start messing up with your grades, you start slacking. If the kids okay. don't get their um, education, say your name, but what can yeah. happen is that, that they, they're going to live in the streets if they don't have money or are working for king or restaurants. I am very concerned about truancy, especially here at the middle school level because when kids don't come to school, they aren't learning, they're missing out on their academic content, and if you don't come to school, then you're going to be behind, and then when you come back, it's going to be difficult to catch up, and so it makes school seem a lot harder than what it actually is. The school loses money, federal money, for attendance through all the periods, not just one period. We use uh, valuable money to the school for supplies and curriculum for the students to learn. It's bad. It's bad for schools, it's bad for kids, it's bad for families, it's bad for communities. Does truancy affect crime and the quality of life in the community? There's a big correlation, meaning there's a big connection between truancy, gangs, and crime. When I was still working patrol, there was countless amount of kids who would just be out roaming around during the week, um, you know, during school hours. So they stopped going to school, they ended up getting in trouble, they ended up joining gangs, and when you're a gang member, you get involved in a lot of crime. So there is a big connection between being truant and crime. What are some causes of truancy? And what I mean by that is, why do you think kids skip school? You know, I think that there's probably a lot of reasons why kids skip school. Um, nowadays, I think a, one of the really big reasons is bullying. I think there's a lot of bullying that goes on in school, and I think in order for a kid to not go and have to deal with that bully, they just don't go. Ever since preschool, I've been bullied, but I've always had to find a way to get past it. And kids are still bullying me now in seven, but it really doesn't affect me anymore because I just learned to ignore it. Um, I've also seen kids bullying other kids, and I just don't think it's right. If you're being bullied at school, who wants to be bullied? You're going to skip out in school. You'll make up any excuse to not have to be bullied. In our research, we found that a lot of people are saying that it's the school's fault, or it's the parents, or it's the actual kids' fault. Who do you think is right? Um, I kind of think everyone's right, because if you really, really look at it, everyone's kind of at fault. The parent has the responsibility of the student is younger, taking them to school on time, being involved in the school, in the parent conferences, in the back to school night. It's something that we need to work hard to make sure that students aren't truant, that they're in school, but we also have to provide them with an interesting learning environment so that they want to be here. I think first we have to make school fun, interesting, and exciting for students. Um, so that is uh, number one. Uh, the other thing is to figure out why are students being truant, is there any issues at home with family, any issues on the way to school that might be keeping a student from coming, uh, and finding out what are some of the ways that we can support students by maybe connecting them with resources, community organizations, uh, or counseling. A lot of the students need to start taking a little more personal responsibility. 
in making better choices. Because like I said earlier, regardless of how many excuses you want to make for choosing to ditch, you still chose to ditch. If you don't go to school, what can you do tomorrow? Be in the street? You know, you have to be, uh, you have to prepare yourself for the future and be a good person and somebody good for the community, for the society. To talk to them. They're still teenagers, their hormones are still coming and they're not sure what they're feeling right now. Some are feeling sadness, depression, like that, or something's wrong with their family. Or something wrong. We just talk to them. We're yeah, just human beings as well as us. And we have that same time when we feel like we need somebody to talk to us and why. Because our education is the most important one of all. And that's what we need most. I agree 100% with what Maya Well said. Just talk to us, but leave in us, it could go a long way. Well, thank you for watching. We hope we start a good conversation about truancy.